all over Asia, there are variations of steamed buns, but my favorite is a Lao steamed bun called Galapao. It's stuffed with a delicious seasoned pork noodle mixture with a side of a hard boiled egg. These fluffy clouds are all the rage for your go-to snack. Sabaydi Pinang, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. Today we have another delicious Lao snack. It's one of my favorite on-the-go snacks where it's really quick and easy and you don't have to deal with much of the mess because you're actually eating everything that's in your hand. You can make a huge batch of it, put it in the freezer, and then later on just microwave it and have it ready. And it's one of the snacks I want to share with you all, so let's get into it. There are two components to making galapao. The first thing is you wanna get the dough ready. I'm gonna grab my warm water, and with that water, you wanna go ahead and add the yeast, and then you mix it up together, making sure that everything is well distributed. This right here, it's gonna be our best friends for steam buns. This is yeast. Yeast is a microorganism that is asleep right now when it's dry, but when we add water to it and mix it in with a little sugar, that's its driving force where we get its energy and eats up all the sugar where it creates carbon dioxide and alcohol and then starts making your dough rise. So this is gonna help us create a really, really fluffy steam bun. Add the sugar right on in and that sugar is a yeast food. It's gonna be eating that because it creates bubbles throughout the water. So I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes. We wanna grab a big bowl and then go ahead, we're gonna dump all the flour right in there, in the middle. White sifted flour. Not all flour is created equal. So this flour is one of the lower protein flours that is needed for galapao. We want a flour that is about 8% in protein because we don't want our steam buns very tough. We want them soft. So think of this kind of like cake flour. So get something soft for your galapao. You can already take the yeast mixture and pour it right on in and mix it very gently. Make sure that you have no dry spots in the bowl. After it forms uh, a nice dough, you can go ahead and grab the melted butter and pour it right on top. And you're gonna see it's a bit wet, so you wanna mix it thoroughly. Once the butter is fully mixed in there, we wanna go ahead and put your hands right on in there, get dirty with the dough, and start kneading it. For most people, gluten is a friend. Do not be scared of it. Gluten is a type of protein in bread that helps give structure and also stability to your bread. So that's why we wanna start kneading the baby dough just a tad bit until everything is smooth and even so you have very fluffy galapals when you eat this. Now is take it to the oven. No, I'm not baking this. But with the oven, you wanna turn your oven on 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, you're gonna turn your oven right off and then put your dough mixture right on in there to help the yeast grow and eat even more of the flour and the sugars in there. So it'll expand double its size. Go ahead and grab a bowl. We wanna first add all the ground pork. And then we're gonna add the glass noodles, the spring onions, and then the yellow onions. Go ahead and grab the MSG Pour the black pepper right on top. Sprinkle fish sauce more if you want it more salty. I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce and then dust it on top with rice flour to combine all my ingredients. Go right on into the bowl and really mix it well. Massage all the meat, get the noodles intertwined with, with all those ingredients. Okay, so my dough has doubled in its size. It's alive, it's amazing and I'm gonna go ahead and deflate on the sides. And what I have is extra flour that I'm gonna go ahead and pour right on, right on top and incorporate it because my dough is fairly wet, but I wanna get it to consistency where I can really work it with my hands. You wanna go ahead and knead all that flour into the dough until it becomes uniform. And you should almost get a consistency of like a soft Play-Doh. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually split the dough in eight pieces. We're gonna grab one of the doughs just start rolling it out with a rolling pin. So now it's flat, we wanna go ahead and add a good amount of filling right on in there. And then let's grab a hard boiled egg. So how I like to do the closing process is actually really similar, or even the same as a shalong bao. With your dominant hand, you're gonna start weaving the linings back and forth, back and forth, kind of creating a zigzag all the way around. 
until it fully closes and then you kind of get an even, even um, design right on top. Go ahead and put a parchment paper right on bottom. So I have the water boiling on high and we want to cook this for 15 minutes. Okay, here are the buns, y'all. These are galapao, galapao sap sap. These are one of my favorite, favorite Lao snacks. Your kids will love them, your friends will love them, everyone loves them. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. If you also love galapaos, please try making it at home. Making it with your friends and family is probably one of the best things you can do in the kitchen. Till next time, I'm gonna go eat these galapaos. And again, please comment, like, share. Let me know what you want on the next video and I'll try to make it. I will see you all another time. Bye.